AI scams are exploding nationwide and they're getting harder to spot. Statistics show Americans lost nearly $3 billion to impersonation scams last year. News 8 Now's Alexandra Carter shows us how scammers are using your own voice against you. Template. Mm -hmm. So you can think about a bad actor taking this as a starting point and just like manipulating this email. Artificial intelligence isn't just changing how we work, it's changing how scammers scam. AI is all around us and scammers take advantage of what's new when people aren't expecting it. Replicating voices, appearing as though they're a real financial institution and presenting emails to people, um, having it generate call lists. Scammers are using AI to create fake voices, phony businesses, and financial convincing emails. One in 10 adults globally has experienced an AI voice scam, and studies show people can only correctly identify AI-generated voices 60% of the time. The more sinister ones are where they're actually pretending to be somebody that you know, and so somehow they get a name of a loved one or an address and contact people to say they need money, they're in jail, uh, they need a loan. I need you to text me your driver's license number as soon as you can. They fished for your voice. Maybe they found it on a outgoing voicemail message or another video that they found online of you and they can make a video or a recording with your voice. Social media posts, videos, even your voicemail greeting, all potential sources. In fact, 53% of adults share their voice data online at least once a week. Consumers who are just going about their day trying to order this or that thing, looking for a website, and then they come across some fraudulent thing that's, that, that some AI scammer has built just by using an AI tool. There are red flags to watch for. If people are calling and right away it's a message or a recorded voice, that's a, a clue that it's not a real person calling you. Uh, anytime people are offering quick money or a loan or saying they've qualified for something that you didn't apply for, a number that you don't recognize. And if you get a suspicious call, don't call the number back. Because you definitely could be connected with a scammer if you call the number back that called you. Instead, look up the official number and call directly. No law enforcement agency or DA's office or court will be contacting people and saying you have to pay something online or over the phone to get somebody out of jail. It, it doesn't happen that way. And if you think you've been targeted by an AI scam, report it to local law enforcement or the Better Business Bureau. You can find a link to the BBB scam tracker on our website.